Hi everyone, I'm Steve from RSM. Uh, welcome to our latest instalment of our Coffee Conversation series. Um, today I'm joined by Luke Smith. Um, Luke is the General Manager of Midcoast Trucks and uh, Midcoast Trucks is one of Australia's leading trucking um, dealerships. So maybe before we start, Luke, um, our theme here is having a bit of a chat over a coffee, casual conversation, and although we'd probably normally do something like that, you know, in person, face to face, um, our current situation with our uh, our borders closed um, won't allow us to do that. So it's a little bit of a different way of doing it, a little bit of a different medium. Um, but given it is a conversation over a coffee, um, can I ask you start? What what are you drinking today? What's your what's your coffee of choice? Yes, yeah, so thanks, Steve. Thanks for having me. And um, I've got my coffee here today. That um, my go to is an extra shot small latte. Um, I was an avid long black drinker, but I've cut down on quantity and um, gone for the quality. So I'm a one coffee a day man, and um, it's an extra shot long, um, extra shot small latte. Excellent. I like your work because I'm uh, a similar similar kind of a uh, <laughs> kind of a guy. So I love that. Um, so thanks, and again, thanks for joining us. Like, really appreciate okay. it. Um, so just to start off, um, could you share with us a little bit about about yourself, a little bit about Luke Smith? Sure, sure. And um, so, Steve, I'm married with um, and a proud father of two children. Um, group general manager at Midcoast Trucks, a family-run trucking company in between Sydney and Brisbane, uh, more closely in between Coffs Harbour and Port Macquarie on the mid-north coast of New South Wales. Uh, I began in the family business straight out of school, uh, cut my teeth in spare parts, uh, the workshop across various, um, with a with a time in various parts of the business in the back end before moving into truck sales. So there I sold new, new and used um, trucks for the business for about seven or eight years. During that time, I was also um, flying the company aircraft. The aviation bug bit a bit um, stronger than the trucking bug back then. And um, after getting a commercial license instrument rating, I, I wanted to go pursue flying airplanes for a living. After a few weeks of um, looking for a flight job, I realised that I want to put the aviation and the sales together and sold planes in Sydney for two years. So mm. really enjoyed that before moving back back to um, back to the mid north coast with my wife, and um, we decided to start a family. And I realised that the travel one month after my first child was born, I realised that the travel um, just wouldn't suit um, my lifestyle. And an opportunity arose back in the family business and. I realised that, you know, with a tool chest full of professional and life skills being out there in the real world, um, I looked at the family business a lot differently and um, I knew that my unique skill set as well could um, help take it to the next level. So that's where I come back there. That's fantastic. Uh, thanks, Luke. Um, can you share with us, with us a little bit about the business, about Midcoast Trucks and, um, and your role as Group General Manager within, within the business? Sure, sure. So... Um, a little bit about Midcoast Trucks. Um, my parents started it in uh, 1991, the, um, the humble beginnings back then, and I was a, just a little toddler. Um, mm -hmm. Steady growth then for about 20, 25 years, um, really focusing on expansion in um, making everything one in-house. So we detail the trucks in-house, then we added a fabrication shop. Um, we repair the trucks, obviously, in-house. And those areas grew, and that's um, that's been the, the key to our success over the last 30 years of business. Um, the past five years has been our been our um, largest stage of growth. We've almost doubled our footprint with um, sheds. We've expanded um, into Coffs Harbour, soon to be Port Macquarie, and um, we've now currently, as of this month, got 135 on team across Maxwell and Coffs Harbour. So, look, Mid Coast Trucks. What what we pride ourselves on is we're a, we're a truck solutions provider. We're not just a, a sales yard or a, or a service centre. Um, we, we provide that solution to our customers. So whether they need to freight it or, or tow it or, or tip it, lift it, whatever they need to do, we, we solve that problem. So we fulfil needs and work with um, our long-term customers and, and build those partnerships in business, which is really the key to it. And it's our strong ethics. It's our trust and our reputation in the, in the market, in the trucking market. That, um, we give first class um, service and um, hence why the majority of our business is repeat and referral and um, that's something that we're very, very proud of at Midcoast yeah. Trucks. 
No, that's brilliant, Luke, and 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 it is. It's such a such a great success story, um, and uh, wonderful to hear to hear that, and the, and the continuing journey, of course, that you and the business are on as well. Um, I'd like to shift a little bit to you know, obviously the current environment we're in is is something I don't think any of us could have predicted a short while ago. Uh, who would have predicted we'd be in the midst of a global pandemic um, not that long ago? Uh, and of course, it brings with it all sorts of challenges. We just have to turn on the news every night and see what's happening around the world, um, and it's a challenging time. There's no doubt. Um, would you mind sharing with us um, perhaps some of the challenges that you've had to deal with? Um, you know, business. And personally, if, if you wish, um, in the in the current environment, and have you how you balanced those? Sure, Steve. Yeah, I'm, what I what the main um, the main obstacle for us is being that being that it is trucking. It's it's all around the logistics. Um, it's the transport, both for our internal business operations, so um, the incoming, the outgoing trucks, the um, the between our six sites. And, um, but more importantly, the customers, it's affected our customers immensely. Like what we've seen, um, just checking in with some of our customers to see what we can do to what we can help, um, it's really affected them. Like to put it in to, um, specific, sorry. No, you're right. Perspective, Steve. Um, it's um, the infrastructure, uh, it's the spending, it's the, it's the commercial building, the housing projects. Uh, it's the it's the waste, um, both commercial businesses, restaurant waste, mm. uh, refrigeration deliveries. So whether that be a delivery to a restaurant, to shops, to the markets, they've all been affected. Yeah. Um, whether they're towing, they're, they're transporting cars, boats, caravans, and also personal transport. So for leisure, so we sell a lot of trucks to people who tow fifth wheel caravans or horse floats and things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All of that has been um, really affected and. Internally, it's 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 a lot to do with also the disruptions to the workforce, um, mm. splitting out our productive staff into teams so that if something does happen, heaven forbid, um, we didn't have to shut the whole business down. We'd shut a certain team down or half of that shed. Mm. Um, strict cleaning rosters. Um, the 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 other the other area that we've seen it affect the most is is um, the finance and lending. So money being at an all time low, everyone wants to. Everyone wants to loan money, keep cash flow on mm -hmm. business, even more so in these uncertain times, understandably. But um, you've got all your banking and approval teams, they're all working from home as well. So mm -hmm. you've got the customers and our, our customers' accountants, they're working from home. So the obstacles all that, it's um, it's it's really yeah. that that's the testing, that's the testing part. Everyone just um, has to be reminded of a little bit of patience, but at the same time, um, we've got June 30 mm -hmm. fast approaching as well. So, um, yeah, it's 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 testing times. Yeah, absolutely, Luke. I, mean, yeah, I can certainly relate to the June 30 fast approaching as well. I think we all can. Mm. Um, so tell me, if you if you will, uh, so uh, thanks for sharing that in terms of the challenges in the, in the business. Um, do you see any opportunities? You know, have, have, because of what we've had to go through, it's kind of forced us to rethink things, to kind of pivot our businesses to some extent mm -hmm. in some cases. Have you, have, what opportunities have you seen that may, may have come out of this? Well, I think the first one is, um, and everyone can relate to this, what we're doing today. Um, so so it's, it's meetings. Um, meetings, at first it was such a big shift to do um, virtual meetings, but I think the efficiencies in it, if, if you've got, um, even like us, who a site might be five or 10 minutes away, um, right through to your travel interstate, um, the efficiencies out of the meetings, I think that'll change the, the business world forever. Um, there'll be some good that comes out of that. Um, the risk management, the, the crisis planning, no one could of course plan for this, but um, just, to, just to make things, make, make us be aware that this can happen um, and, and crises can happen. And, and I suppose we, um, everything was going so strong, so, so well. So it's, it's a good reminder that we need to have those contingencies in place, um, whether it be a crisis plan, whether it be risk management, um, OH&S, and really so that we can pull the, pull the pin on them straight away if that opportunity arose. Because that's, that's one of the main um, disruptors we've seen is just being full time on what is next, what are the rules, mm -hmm. how does this affect us today, and 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 every everything from social distancing through to um, through to this opening up, borders opening up, we've just found that that's um, that's full time role. Um, and the other one would be 
I, I guess, some infrastructure projects being brought forward. Um, the government's done a great job with this, um, with some tax breaks, instant asset right off the employment opportunities, and with um, with money being at all time low and some infrastructure projects being brought forward. Um, let's hope that we um, we're, we're affected as low as possible as a country. Yeah, absolutely. Look, Luke, thanks very much um, for sharing that. Um, <clears throat> really appreciated your uh, your your insights and and uh, sharing those 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 words with us. Um, hopefully, uh, everyone who's who's watching, you know, you, you may have picked up uh, something something out of what Luke Luke had to say to us. Um, and if so, if there is anything you'd like to hear more of, um, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Uh, once again, Luke, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it, and look forward to. Uh, catching up face-to-face, uh, -face, maybe over a, over a coffee when the borders open up, maybe even something a little stronger like a red. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you, Steve. Thanks for having me. Right. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.